This has been a long time coming. I'm holding myself accountable by filming it and also hoping that you find this a somewhat satisfying vlog to watch because I love watching this kind of content. But for today's video, and however long it takes me to do this, I'm basically gonna be decluttering my flat slash my life slash unhauling some books. I love doing a good unhaul video and I did want to do this as just an unhaul video, but I thought, you know what? I've got so much other stuff I need to do in my flat as well. Let's do it all as one. The goal is basically to declutter all the stuff I have in my flat. My flat is a fairly decent size. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom flat. I've got a little bit of storage, but not much. I have this wardrobe behind me, which has some of my clothes in. I've got a cupboard in the hallway, which you can also see actually. I've got a cupboard in the hallway that is pretty much fit to bursting because that has my coats, my suitcases, and also a massive boiler and some of my plant pots slash soil things for repotting. So that's pretty much fit to bursting as well. And then I've got my wardrobe in my office. Generally not much storage, which is causing me quite a few issues now. I use under my bed for storing things, but again, that is now full. There's books under my bed, there's clothes, there's like a box of kind of memory items. I have so much stuff and I don't know what to do with it all. It's too much. I don't want to feel like I'm somebody that is tied to material items. I obviously have a lot of books and I know that and I'm okay with that. I collect books. That is something I feel passionate about. That is something I show in my content. I also have a lot of plants. Again, I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is the sheer amount of stuff I hold on to over a long period of time. I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, but I believe there's a right and wrong time to feel like you can get rid of something. And I feel like sometimes you might look at something that you hold a memory to and think, I can't get rid of that now. Whereas in six months time, you might look at it again and think, okay, it's time, I'm ready. In my case, I probably do a big clear out about once a year, which means that all the stuff that I thought last year, I'm not quite ready to clear that out yet. I probably am ready now. So I'm still holding on to all this stuff when I really don't need to be. I've had so much clarity in my life this year. I feel like going into 2023, I've really stepped into another chapter of my life, it feels like. I went into this year wanting to actually do the things I keep saying I wanna do and I am doing the things that I say I wanna do. I do more travel, I'm trying to do experiences that are new to me that might scare me a little bit. I feel like I'm achieving those things and I feel like I've got clarity in myself from starting to do those things and I feel really good that I am doing those things. And one of the areas in my brain that's still a bit of a like messy blob is my home and what I have in my home and the way I use my space. I really like being neat and tidy. It just makes me happy, it soothes my soul. I like having a tidy environment and I enjoy making it a tidy environment. However, when I've got this much stuff building up over time because I'm not doing these clear outs regularly enough, it's just getting too much. And that includes having probably way too many books than ones I actually still intend to read or need to keep. And I know there's no such thing as having too many books, but I think I've held onto a lot of books from when my reading tastes were different and my reading tastes have changed quite a lot now. And I can probably reflect that in unhauling some books. I've obviously got a lot of clothes as well. So going through those, working out what I could give to charity, what I could sell, just generally giving something a second life and making sure I'm conscious that anything I have bought in the past can go on to give something a second life so that it isn't just becoming waste. And then just little bits that I've got around the place, just little bits and bobs. I know that this is gonna be a big task. I don't intend to get it all done today, especially not because it's really sunny outside. And I just wanna sit outside, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be doing this clear out. So I thought I'd bring you along with me for accountability, for the satisfaction of a job well done, and just generally to show you something a little bit different and to unhaul some books, because I know that you guys like an unhaul video. So this is gonna be a merge of all those things. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I think the hardest part is just getting started with it. So let's do that. Also, I just wanna show you my bedroom before we get going, because one of my goals from clearing out some stuff today is to be able to consolidate what I've got in here. I feel like there's a lot of clutter going on in my bedroom and I don't love it. So I've got my main bed area, which I honestly, I don't know how I feel about this color on the wall anymore. I loved it when I put it there and I still love it, but I don't know if it's capturing the vibe I want. I don't know what color to go for whether it be a green or a blue I'm not really sure but I want it to be cozier in here and maybe a bit darker and then over here we've got my kind of mess corner really this is where I've got like some bags and stuff I don't know if you can really see them there's some bags in there and then this drawer unit which contains things like my underwear socks a couple of vest top type of things in there and some hair stuff at the bottom there like my hair dryer then we've got my dressing table and then over here we've got a little mirror in the corner which I would love to replace that with a gold framed mirror instead I really like this top section here, like from the plants up, but the bookshelves, I feel like I don't need these in here anymore. I feel like I had books in my room when I lived back at my family home because that was my space. That was the only place I had to have my books. But I feel like this could be a nice chest of drawers instead, but keep this kind of element going. So I kind of want to be able to clear some stuff out today 
so that I can possibly think about consolidating some of my furniture in here. Okay, I've got bin bags, I've got these drawers to clear out. This is where my underwear is, and these are the ones that I've been putting off doing the longest. I'm not gonna show you inside these because you don't need to see my underwear, but this is where I'm starting, and then I'm just gonna slowly work my way around the room. Who needs this many pairs of socks? I mean, this is ridiculous. This used to have an order to it, that's why. Why do I have that many pairs of socks? Okay, so I've kind of cleared out this whole area. So I've sorted everything on here, dusted everything here, dusted, taken off all my books here. If anyone's interested in these books, by the way, these are all my sex positivity, sex education, different books like that. Ones that I would recommend the most if you are interested is Vagina A Reeducation by Lynn Enright and also Come As You Are by Emily Nagoski. Um, these are all fantastic as well. There's How To Have Feminist Sex, which is a great graphic novel, and also Sex Ed A Guide For Adults by Ruby Rare, which is also illustrated in a really, really fun way. They're just so good for having open and honest sex positive conversations and I would really, really recommend them. If if you like a video on this let me know anyway so i've cleared out this area i've cleared out all the drawers so for example socks are much neater and much less over the top with the amount of them i have but i'm kind of thinking i want to see what this looks like if i put it against this wall i don't know if that's going to work or not but then if that does work i could consider getting one chest of drawers that's going to cover that whole wall and have a bit more drawer space so I don't have to have so much stuff under my bed and stuffed into my wardrobe that I haven't even started to think about yet because I definitely do want to upgrade the furniture in here as I was saying I want to give this whole room a little bit of a makeover but I just don't really know what that's going to be but the reason those are there is because obviously any further over and I wouldn't be able to open the drawers but I'm just I'm going to turn it round I'm going to see what it looks like if it doesn't work that's fine I think I'm gonna put it back the way it was, but it's good to see what it looks like. I don't know if that would work if it was a chest of drawer unit there or whether that would go like across that way and then that would be used as a bedside table, I don't know. But I, I tried it, it didn't work, but I'm gonna move it back now. I got a bit distracted. So I've come into the kitchen and I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of plant repotting. So I've got a couple plants that I've been propagating that are very ready to be potted now. So I'm gonna do that because I basically am rearranging, not rearranging the bedroom area, but like adding, plants into different places. I am fighting the urge to get more plants. So I'm just gonna try and propagate a couple more to be able to grow my own from the ones I already have. But I want as many plants as I can in every room because I just, I love plants. They just make me feel happy and I think they make a home more homely. I love having green everywhere and I love bringing the outside in. So I wanna add some more plants to my bedroom because I think far from redecorating the whole room, this is a good way to be able to bring more green in and be able to make the space a little bit more like what I want it to be. There's already quite a few plants in there, I know that, but I want to add more and I got distracted. So I'm gonna repot and put, transfer my propagated plants into some plant pots and see how this goes. I hate repotting in here because it's top floor flat. I do not have a garden space. And if I did, it involves going out and round the corner with all the soil and the plants. It's just, it's a bit much to keep going up and down the stairs with everything. I did do it once and I won't do it again. And doing it on my balcony doesn't work either because then I've just got all the soil and I don't know what to do with it. So I have to do it in my kitchen and lay down a sheet, but actually I don't think I need to do that because these are really small. So I think I'm just gonna do it over a bigger pot and we'll see how it goes.
ta-da! This one's come in here, this one's come in here, and this one's come in here. So there's three new additions, and I've also propagated a couple of new ones, so hopefully there'll be some more joining them very soon. But my next job is the bookshelves. I need to be ruthless and need to actually unhaul some stuff. So let's give that a go. I swear to God, I'm gonna have a villain origin story soon for these bloody leaf blowers. They're not even collecting the leaves. They blow all the leaves about and then they just leave the leaves. There's not even that many leaves to blow about. It's May, why? Why are they here every single week? Anyway, unhauling books. The goal I think is to try and remove some of the YA that I think I just need to accept that I'm not going to get to and that that's fine. I have definitely seen my reading taste change a lot at the moment and that has reflected in the books that I've been buying and therefore the books that have been sat on my shelves that I haven't been reading. So I'm going to try and be strict. I am so bad at this because I always feel like I've, I've you know I've bought the book I should try and make time to get to it or I've bought the book I've read it in the past and I hold on to it for sentimental value but I think I need to be stricter because if I want to realistically be able to remove these bookshelves and put something else here I need to actually free up the space because I don't want to have to just put the book somewhere else like I don't mind having a couple more shelves like maybe put some shelves up on the wall here or something for some of the books but I don't want to feel like I have literally two shelves worth of books to redistribute so I need to be strict <sighs> and uh and I need to learn how to actually do that because it's not something I'm very good at. Okay, this is the current damage done from the unhaul. This is also a couple from my lounge as well, but I feel like I can be more brutal because I'm noticing there is space being freed up and that is very valuable right now. So we have got Saga, we have got The Wolf and the Woodsman, Defy the Night, uh, the Absolute Book, Meet Cute, Fandom, Fandom Rising, Burn Our Bodies Down, Princess of Souls, Daughter of Darkness, Jack of Hearts and Other Parts. I'm really torn about this one because I loved it, but I know I'm never going to read it again and it was it was just great. Paris by the Book was probably one of the worst books I've read this year. It was absolutely shocking. <laughs> the Gravity of Us, A Throne of Swans, Slay, Apple Knife, Rare, Read with Pride, Bookshop Ever After and Paper and Heart Society. That's a trilogy, but I don't think I'm going to reread them. They were really fun, but I don't think I'm going to reread them. Girl Reading, I DNF'd, Starfish, After Love and The 23. Ha! <sighs> That is it so far. I am really trying to be brutal. I'm trying to pick books that I know in the back of my head I am either never going to read again or I know I'm probably not going to read at all or like I've started and not gone through with or I've had them on TBRs and ignored reading them. So that's what we got so far. I think it's going okay. There's some space freed up. I'm trying to see how much room I would need to consolidate basically and just move everything along and see if I could move it into another room if I unhaul books from other rooms but at the same time I don't want to empty this space before I can actually afford to get new furniture so it's a little bit of a curve but we're, we're getting there. Okay I think I need a little bit of a break so I'm gonna nip out because I need to pick up a plant pot because annoyingly my plant pot has rusted through at the bottom of one of the plants so I need to go into TK Maxx where they have super cheap plant pots if you ever want plant pots they're literally like 4 dollars which is perfect so I'm gonna just go grab a plant pot because I've literally got holes <laughs> in the bottom of my other one which isn't great so I need to do that quite quickly and then come back and continue. I still haven't really got through many more of the books since I last updated but I'm trying I'm trying to pull stuff off of other shelves so that I can clear up the room in here. I also want to nip to Sainsbury's and just have a little look at what they have just so I've got options for different furniture options because they've got like the habitat section in there with furniture so I'll do that as well. I just don't know what I want this room to be. I've got an idea of the kind of colour scheme that I want in here and the kind of earthy tones but I can't envisage how I want the furniture to look and every other room in my flat is perfect for me. I love it. I'd love to retile my main bathroom but other than that everything is perfect and I just want my bedroom to feel the same. Okay back from TK Maxx. I ended up getting five plant pots because I constantly need these and do not have them available and they are so damn cheap so I'm gonna give you a quick plant pot haul. All of these are either $2.99 or $3.99. I just uh, TK Maxx's prices seriously. If you need plant pots go to TK Maxx. So I got this one which is a bigger one. This is probably the most boring one that I got but I often find that when I'm repotting into bigger pots I don't actually have the pot so I got a spare one. Then I got mainly all the same size ones. I got this one and this one. I think this one might be my favourite. Actually I think this one might be my favourite. <laughs> so I got those pots. I was trying to think how I could spice up my furniture a little bit without having to really change it and I thought about getting new little knobs for the drawers that I cleared out this morning. So I found these in TK Maxx as well. They're little bees and I'm so happy. So I'm gonna fit those all on now I guess. 
probably should have thought about this before I emptied and then put everything back in the drawers, but hey ho. And now I can put my plants in their new plant pots. <laughs> Okay, update on the book unhauling front, I've taken a couple off my YA thriller shelf as well because I have slowly made progress over here. Look at that! There's actual space! What? I've also, I don't know if I've shown these or not yet, but I've also got the Lee Bardugo special editions. I, I, I don't know if I want to get rid of them or not, but I feel like I could sell them. I'm not sure, undecided about that, but I'm just putting books in bags to sort them into different piles at the moment. Okay, here's a little mid-project progress shot. I doubt you can even tell the difference, but we've got new knobs here, we've got more plants here. Well, I've basically just moved plants and put them here instead of where they were, and I intend to just kind of bulk that out. I feel like adding more green in through the plants is just bringing in that coziness. I'm going to be changing the bed sheets tomorrow to some that I've got that are more terracotta reed so that it's just a bit cozier. I feel like I love these bedding. This bedding, it's from Urban Outfitters. It's like a flowery moon, sun, stars type of print. I love it, but I feel like it doesn't really make the room look any warmer. There's a lot of white furniture in here and that I think is not helping. Whenever I end up painting this, I feel like that's going to have the warmth as well, although I just don't know what colour. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to be using Lick Paint. I, at the moment, I'm either thinking a really lovely green or a kind of terracotta -y, soft reddish colour, but I don't want it to be too aggressively toned because obviously bedroom needs calm chill vibes but I want to go for that boho type of aesthetic and then over here this is kind of emptier than it was I don't know if you can tell but it is I've added a couple different plants from around the flat and have repotted some so I've given them a, another opportunity to thrive this one <laughs> <laughs> this one's not really doing too good. This one I bought it and then it immediately died and I don't know if it was because it wasn't used to the environment. I have had it for about a year now and then we had a little bit of regrowth so we've got this regrowth coming on. I hope that it continues to because the leaves were so beautiful but I'm giving that a little bit of a chance to, to thrive. <laughs> Hopefully it gets it, the sunlight that it needs here but what I'm hoping to do, this mirror, I cannot for the life of me work out why I bought this mirror. Everything in my flat, I remember the decision-making process. This is gray, nothing else in my flat, apart from the floor, is gray. So I don't really know why I bought that and why I didn't buy a gold framed mirror. So I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can find a new mirror and also to see if I can get a bookshelf ladder type of thing. So the idea, hang on, the idea being that this area of space would become like the mirror area. The bookshelves would go and then I'd have like a bookshelf ladder going up this wall here. So that's kind of the current potential plan, but I'm just having a scoot about on Facebook Marketplace because there's quite a few that are fairly decently priced there. So hopefully I can find something, but yeah, calling it a day for today because it's 7.30. I need to go outside and get some exercise. I need to eat dinner. I just, I've been doing this all day and I'm pretty, pretty pooped. I'll show you more updates, of course. I think the next thing that we're gonna tackle, oh, this is my shame, is this cupboard. Oh God, there's a, there's a method to it. Up here we've got bedding and towels and I don't actually know what's in there. Again, this is down to having zero storage that the bedding and stuff is just kind of crammed up there. This is jumpers, which I'm aware there's a little bit too many jumper things going on there. I know I need to clear some up. I just, I love jumpers. Pajamas is semi-manageable. It, well, actually it's kind of pajamas and comfortable wear, but again, probably could clear some stuff out. I don't even want to talk about what this is. <laughs> Partially gym wear here, active wear. That's got my book sleeves in. That has got more socks. <laughs> Why do I have so many socks? I don't even know what's down there. That's hats and stuff and scarves and it's probably the most organized of the all these sections. And then that, that is what I am procrastinating. That's bags and purses, wallets, luggage cubes, anything like that is in there. And that is a mess and I know that's a mess and I know that I could clear out probably over half of what's in there and then probably divvy up some of the stuff that's in one of these down to here but am I anywhere close to doing it? No. <laughs> I will try and do it before this video. No I will. I will try and do it before this video is over. I will. That is that is the goal for the next time you see me. I have got kind of a big update I think. This has progressed from 
being like a declutter to actually trying to get my room semi how I want it to look. This is not going to all be done in this video, but I this morning put up my bookshelves and my mirror on Facebook Marketplace just to see if anyone would be interested in buying them. And two people have contacted me being interested in buying them. So I've got somebody picking up the bookshelves tomorrow and somebody picking up the mirror today. So that's really exciting and happened very quickly. And that has enabled me to be able to mix things up a little bit in here. So I found a ladder bookshelf that I liked to go here on Habitat's website that I, was perfect, but it was really expensive. So I was trying to shop around a little bit, have a look on Facebook Marketplace to try and find something that wasn't that expensive. And I wasn't having much luck. And then I came across one on Amazon. And then I realized that I had credit in my account from a refund I got like two months ago that was just sat in my account as a as a credit on my account and I forgot so I ordered the bookshelf so that's coming tomorrow which I'm really excited about I'm not excited about building it I don't like building flat pack furniture but I you know it's fine it is what it is and then I also with the sale of both of these items am getting a different mirror that's going to have a gold frame that I think is going to look a lot better so it's going to be a bit bigger well actually I think it's like double the width of this one but the same height so I should have I don't know why I went for a grey mirror I should have got a, gray, a gold mirror to start with and I think it's going to look so much better in the space so today's objective is to clear the books off of this bookshelf and the plants get the mirror out of the way as well and basically sort it out so that when someone comes to collect the bookshelves it's ready to go and when the new one arrives I can just build that and put it in the space. So it's all go now by accident and I also still need to clear out that cupboard which I'm really procrastinating on but I think I'm gonna do it after work. I'm nipping to Dunelm in my lunch break as well because I want to just have a browse of bedside table lamps because the ones I've got at the moment were very very cheap and I mean that's fine I don't want to get new expensive ones but I just want to see if I can get better lampshades for them because well hang on let me show you this is what they look like at the moment and they very much match the blind up there which was the point but I feel like I could have something a bit funkier I don't know what but I feel like I could so I just want to have a browse really and just see what's about just to get an idea I think I like to have an idea of what it is I want to get and when I think realistically I can get it like eventually I will be replacing the the dresser unit here the bedside draw thing and the dressing table I will eventually replace that I think with something rattan possibly I feel like that's gonna have the kind of boho vibes that I want this room to have but that's definitely not happening soon but I just I wanted to make a start because I feel like I'm clearing out the stuff and I want it to actually fit the space here especially if I'm emptying all these books off the shelves I don't just want it to be an empty space so that is the plan again as I said also that also that possibly that after work and I also want to move about my plants a little bit so I can get one of my bigger plants to sit on the floor in front of this mirror. Don't really know what's going to happen there yet but I do have a fairly decent amount of plants to be able to jiggle around the space. I just love where they all are at the moment so I need to actually remove one from its spot and put it there instead. But anyway that's the plan so far. This vlog I don't even know what it's become but I'm having a good time. Sorry I'm flashing you my bathroom there you don't need to see that but I hope that you're enjoying it as well. I was editing a little bit of it last night and I just I find it so satisfying watching vlogs where people like declutter and reset so I hope that you are also enjoying this in a more extreme way manner. Hello, we're making breakfast this morning before we have a pretty productive day. I've got work bits happening today but also in my lunch break and after work I'm going to be clearing as much stuff out of my room as is physically possible. I've got someone to collect the bookshelves today. The mirror is gone. Things are happening. Now I do actually need to clear the bookshelf still which is my own stupidity that I haven't done that yet. I think it'll only take me like 10 minutes hopefully but I need to do that and then move the bookshelves out into the hallway of my flat. So I'm making breakfast this morning I thought I'd take you along the process with me. So we're gonna be making almond and honey pancakes but we're gonna be making them like a cake. So it's a pancake cake. This is a Joe Wicks recipe. I'm doing Joe Wicks's app at the moment to be able to get all my food and recipes which is really handy. If you're not necessarily the best cook or you don't enjoy cooking like myself this app gives you so many different recipes and it gives you more recipes each month or each week I don't know there's regularly new recipes on it and they're all pretty much like where you can see the ingredients that's going into your food like you know what you're getting you're not getting so many processed foods which feels quite nice anyway the honey and almond pancakes I basically make them into a cake so I put them in a cake tin and bake it up and I've got myself breakfast for the next three days it's a weird breakfast because it does feel like I'm eating a cake for breakfast 
but it's quite nice. So that's what we're going to be making today. And I thought I would start the, the not the vlog, because we've already started the vlog, but start this day of the vlog off with breakfast. I really want to get a Nutribullet, but for now I have to mix it all in my smoothie blender because the normal food blender I have won't mix the oats up properly. So I have this big clunky thing. Now I've done a silly, I forgot to buy more bark barking paper? Parchment? Baking parchment paper. I forgot to buy more of it, which is what I need to not have this stick to the inside of the tins. So I'm gonna try a makeshift method of using some coconut oil and some flour, which my mum has told me will work. So we might have a pancake cake stuck to the inside of a pancake cake tin. I don't know at this point. Also, if you want a good product to have in your kitchen, an alternative to a lot of different types of oil and butter that you could use when cooking coconut oil, it's really good. Anyway, the, the, makeshift, the makeshift thing is gonna be to line all of these and then basically coat the edges with flour and just hope that it doesn't all stick because it's gonna be really disappointing if it does because this is, it's gonna be a mess. I mean, it already is gonna be a mess. I'm not a good cook, I really am not. The This process of learning how to make these has definitely been a curve because my mum was helping me make, make them when I was back with her in my family home and she has a Nutribullet. As mentioned earlier, I wish that I had a Nutribullet. And when I got back home and tried to do them myself, I just essentially had raw egg in the middle um, despite cooking them for the full amount of time and it was because it didn't all mix together properly and it was just a big gross mess. So, I'm not doing well, but I'm trying, which I think I should get points for. Oh, it's so gross on my fingers. Blech. Apparently you can use coconut oil in your hair. You can use it as hand cream and lip balm. I wouldn't want to because right now my fingers, it's giving me the cringe. <laughs> I look like I've just rolled out of bed, but I promise you I've been up for hours and have been doing things. Right, I don't even, she's like, she said to spread it around the edges and like throw it about the pan a bit and it'll spread about. I just, I don't know what to expect from this. Do I just, this could, oh no. <laughs> Who gave me permission to be in a kitchen? Like it's never, I think my mum is a really good cook and she's always tried to, to encourage me to, to be the same. And I just, I think you have to enjoy it a little bit to just kind of have that massive interest in it. And I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> like I enjoy eating, oh no. <laughs> I enjoy eating the food that I cook. I'm just not very good at cooking it, unless I've done it like several times. I mean, it is coating it. Maybe I could use like, hang on. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Oh, the cringe, it's such a cringy sound. Oh, oh, this is not, no, it's not. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad idea, but it didn't really do anything. Um, what is this? I mean, the bottom is definitely good. I'm gonna have to touch it, aren't I? Oh, oh, it's so cringy. <laughs> oh, I think the postman's here. <laughs> Shit. Post came! I've got oil over my hands, but post came. We'll open this in a minute. Fairly confident that one of those is my Illuma Crate yellow face, but I don't know what the other is. Oh god, it's so cringy. Oh, this is better. This is good. Okay, I need to be more aggressive. Oh no, it's gone everywhere. Oh shitting hell. Okay, that's not bad. It's not great either though. <sighs> I, maybe this one's easier, I don't know. Oh shit, that was so much flour. This one's not sticking to the edge. Now I've just got like a pool of flour at the bottom. Oh dear. Oh, it's just gone everywhere. Do you know what? Like, that's all right. I think that's gonna do. Cooking with Beth, which is a failure. Okay, what was meant to happen here is that we were meant to have some nicely lined trays that we can then add our mixture into. I don't know why this has turned into a cooking segment, but it has. Here are our trays. Here is our mixture. You can't see that. There it is, yum. I I could weigh the quantities into each, but I don't know the quantity of this weighed out altogether, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna do this one first. I feel like I'm making a big mistake here. Please don't stick to the edge of the tin. Mmm, pancake gloop. Now what I like to do is also add in some dark chocolate chips. Am I Nigella now? This is kind of me merging two different Joe Wicks pancake recipes together, but they're dark chocolate chips, so I feel like it's okay. And hopefully they don't sink to the bottom. 
because then that creates a really horrible burnt lining for some reason. Again, can't cook, so people are probably watching this cringing, but I, I can only apologise. <laughs> Obviously, the pancake cake will get a little bit of a rise in the oven. It takes about 20 to 22 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. Not really sure, to be honest, I just do it until it doesn't look like it's raw in the middle. Because who wants a raw pancake cake? Not me. I think it comes, that was, but uh, you can't even see me. Just gonna wipe this bit off there, because presentation is everything. You know what? I'm just gonna put a couple more chocolate chips in here. Mum, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I didn't measure out the chocolate chips, but I think I can eyeball it because I've done it enough times by now. Ta-da! And now we put them in the oven. Now we sit here and wait for the next 22 minutes. And that's breakfast with Beth. Now I get to wash up. Okay, whilst the pancake cake is in the oven, let's see what's actually in these boxes. This one I'm pretty confident is going to be the Illumicrate edition of Yellow Face, I think. Oh, that was a horrible noise, sorry. It is. It's so pretty. I know this is a video about me clearing out books and not getting new books, but... Look at it. And under the dust jacket, are you ready? I mean, come on. It's so clever the way it's got the last front, which is the name of the book that the main character basically steals from her friend who has passed away, who is a successful author. She steals her book and publishes it under her own name, and it's called The Last Front, so that's very clever. Also, I love the way that they've done the signature. Just generally, that is so clever. I'm oh, so glad that I got this edition. This is so pretty. I love the simplicity of the end pages as well. Just generally, this book was fantastic. I love the cover, I love the design. I think I'm gonna put this and the Waterstones edition on the ladder bookshelf when that arrives, which is today. I'm very excited to build that. Okay, the other box, I really need to rearrange my bookshelves because I don't know how this is gonna fit. Okay, I think this hits a bit more because they've shipped two in one package. This is Laura Olympus volume three and volume four. I have got volume one and two from Illuma Crate as well. Look at them! Of course I had to have the matching editions. This series, I love this series so, so much. It's a Hades and Persephone retelling. It's so funny, it's so cute. I love the way that we see the, the Greek gods and goddesses in a modern day setting and how they interact with that. It's just so great and so unique. And these are the Illumicrate exclusive editions, so I'm very, very, very excited to have these. I think there's like 10 minutes left on my pancake cake, so I'll let you know how that turns out. They are done. Okay, goal is to remove this from the tin with the, the flour coating method. I mean, I'm just gonna tip it upside down and see if anything good happens. Give it a magic tap. No, nothing happened, great, okay. Hey, oh. Oh. Um, so it's, it's got the flour on the bottom of <laughs> which I guess is fine. Does that mean it didn't cook properly where the flour is? I don't know. I don't know enough about cooking. Wow, what a hot mess. Can I do much about this? Oh, it's so cringy. I think I put too much flour in. I'm gonna try and sort this out. It just, don't judge me, okay? I mean, you're probably judging me a little bit, but oh God, what, what am I doing? Oh. If we turn it around that way, you can't even tell. So, uh, mm, breakfast is served. Cook, I am not. Okay, what you didn't just see me film was I just tipped that one right upside down and it came out immediately. Not that one, just that one. Okay, it might look like a complete and utter mess, but it does taste good. just realised that I didn't tell the woman coming to collect the bookshelves today that I live on the second floor flat. I just didn't say that and I don't know why. There's no lift so we're gonna have to carry the bookshelves down the stairs 
and I completely forgot to actually mention that. So I hope that she's still okay with coming to get them, hopefully. They're pretty heavy, but we can do it, we can do it. Okay, I thought that was gonna take me longer. It literally took me like five minutes, so that was absolutely fine. Do wish I did it yesterday, but hey-ho, hindsight. So now I've got this lovely blank area. I need to sort out the floor a little bit, and just generally there's a mess of stuff that I need to, need to sort out. I didn't make my bed this morning because I'm putting different bedding on today, and now I'm regretting that because now everything's just on top of it, and now I can't put the different bedding on because this is where I through all the books and stuff. So basically, after work today, I'm gonna to be assembling the new bookshelf and sorting out all of this area. And then it's just a case of putting everything back together a little bit and adding in a different mirror eventually. It's very exciting, it's very exciting. It's just slightly daunting now. I don't, I still don't really know what I'm doing with all the books. I don't think this new bookshelf is gonna have enough space for all of these. I think these ones won't be there. I think I have decided that I am gonna sell those, but it'll be, all of these ones and then on the floor over here is all my graphic novels. I think I'm gonna do like a little Alice Osman heartstopper shelf because those books are so pretty, especially the fairy editions. But all of this has to go on the ladder and I still want it to be fairly minimalistic and have my plants and stuff. So uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna look good. I just need to make this space not look quite so gross. It's really horrible when you move furniture and you realise how dusty it's been the whole time. Little tip, always keep a little sampler of your paint colour on hand so if you've got any small touch-ups to do, you've got this rather than having to buy a whole pot. I'm glad this isn't an unhaul vlog because I've done a terrible job of showing you the books I've unhauled but I did show you a bulk of the ones I took off my shelves. These, a lot of these, are books that have been under my bed for a while that I know that I needed to take to the charity shop so basically just put them all in bags. There's five bags here that need to go to the charity shop which I feel like is such an accomplishment. I think this is the biggest unhaul I've ever done and I didn't even vlog it properly, I'm so sorry. But know that the main books I took off my shelves were the ones that you saw. So you've seen a bulk of the unhaul. These are just kind of excess that I have been meaning to take to the charity shop for a while now. So that's gonna be a job at some point. I'm not looking forward to getting those down the stairs. There's no lift in my flat. So we'll see how that goes, but I feel cleansed. I feel good. Okay, it's after work. Bed sheets are kind of half on. I need to wait for the under sheet to dry because I accidentally bought a small instead of a large, but that's fine. Or like a single instead of a two, double words. This is all my jumpers. I have managed to clear out all of this cupboard up to here. I've sorted everything out. I had more socks, if you'd believe it, in there. Cleared everything out, and now we're filling this with my jumpers. This is a ridiculous amount of jumpers. This is too many jumpers, so that is that is now the goal. The bookshelf is in this. I, I feel like this has been a very jumbled second half of this vlog, but the bookshelf is in. That was a pain in the ass to build. There were so many screws that just no, no. So now I get to put the books on it and the plants and it gets to take shape until I get a mirror there and then it's going to be all done and I'm so excited. I was deliberating whether to keep the tapestry up or not but I think I am going to keep it up. I think it looks kind of like it, it, I think it fits the vibe and I've got this rug down. Just generally I'm so excited so I'll show you what it looks like when the books are back on and the plants. It has been a day. I didn't film as much as I would have hoped this evening because I've been doing the big ticket items but the bookshelf is built, it is finished, the cupboard is done, I've cleared it out, I've organised it, everything in this bedroom apart from under the bed has been done, I have unhauled all my books, I've taken them to the, ch to the charity shop, I've also taken my jumpers that I unhauled to the charity shop, I feel very proud of myself for doing all of this, this bookshelf was not easy to build, it was not easy, <laughs> it has, I don't even know how many screws, like 60 screws maybe, and I have now got a blister on my thumb, that was fun, but it's done and I love it. I can't stop looking at it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is the view from my bed. So there's gonna be a mirror here that I'm very excited about. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll, I'll wrap the vlog up basically once this room is finished, which means also clearing out under the bed, which means me holding myself accountable to clear out under the bed. But anyway, this is the bookshelf. Would you like a tour? So the top shelf is quite narrow, so it doesn't really hold any books unless they're teeny weeny, but that's okay because the top shelf is for plants. I still feel so bad for this plant. It just, it's really struggled, but I hope that it has some regrowth. And then we've got a mix of, I don't really know what genre is here, but they're kind of rainbowy. They're kind of some contemporary, some romance, others definitely far from that. I, I don't really know. 
I don't know, but I like the shelf a lot. Then we've got my Alice Osmond shelf, which I just love this. I had in my head how I wanted this to look and it looks so pretty. And there's room for the extra heart stoppers once we get volume five and volume six. I wanted to have an Alice Osmond shelf, not only because the books just feel bright and fun with their covers, but also I just think Alice Osmond's writing is timeless. And I think whilst I'm reading a lot less to none almost YA at the moment, I think these books will always stay with me. So I wanted to have this shelf. This shelf was not meant to look like this, but I love it. This is my classic shelf or part of my classics. I've also got some classics in my lounge still. I was gonna have my manga in here, but it was that and my graphic novels. They were so varied in height that it wasn't quite working, but I love how this has turned out. Down here, I've got my little Dunelm book sleeve basket and my kind of clever mystery section. I love how all of this looks. It's just so pretty with the rug and then the mirrors there it's just gonna look so nice and i think with this bedding as well it it just works so well again definitely want to paint this wall at some point need to work out what color but i'm so happy with how this has turned out i'm gonna pause any updates now until maybe monday tuesday time next week because i've got a really busy weekend so i don't think i'm gonna be doing any changes oh i haven't showed you a cupboard have i hang on Ta-da! it's so tidy so i got rid of over half of my bags I think and I've organized this a lot better and I've put my water bottles and things hot water bottles sorry not just normal water bottles that would not be a good place for them my hot water bottles down here here is like winter wear and thicker socks like welly socks and things like that and walking socks and then we've got my exercise stuff and my hats my pajamas and my jumpers which I have managed to significantly reduce it might not look it but I have this I haven't touched because honestly that is just bedding for any for any guests that stay over on my futon and it's just packed full in there i probably do need to sort out whatever's in here because i have no idea what's in there so I, I i don't feel like i'm gonna need it if i don't know what's in it so yeah this has also been a successful mission look at it as a background okay now i'm gonna go i feel like i deserve a little bit of a sit down tonight so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and i will catch up with you when i've got another update so it's monday and the mirror arrived there it is, doesn't it look nice? Think again. Look at the crack. There's a huge crack in it all the way around. I'm so sad. So I've got to return the mirror, which is gonna slow down the process a little bit, but you know, that's that's what it should have looked like. Okay, random change of plans. Wait, there is no change of plans because I never made plans in the first place, but I've got my friend Imi here at the moment. Imi's over here. Hi. And we are gonna go to HomeSense, which closes in two hours. <laughs> And HomeSense is about 40 minutes away, but we're gonna go to HomeSense and just have a mooch about because I still, I feel disheartened by the whole mirror experience. I have ordered another mirror, but it won't be here for like three weeks. So I just wanted to see what they had. And also, hang on. I just wanna see what options are for bedside tables because I've got this one. I wanna remove this one. And I just wanna look at what my options are at this point and see because sometimes HomeSense has some really nice, unique individual things. And I don't think I need everything in here to match, I think actually more the aesthetic I'm going for is that it feels probably like it doesn't match but it all kind of has the same vibe so taking a random spontaneous trip to home sense all right today's job is something I've been putting off for a while it's been like a week and a half since I last filmed we're just not going to talk about that I'm sorting out under the bed there's obviously a whole other side of this as well but we've got things like books clothes bed sheets and probably more books over here I'm pretty sure I went through this recently like in, within the last six or seven months and went through everything that was physically under the bed so i think it might be a case of consolidating stuff thinking does it have to be under here and maybe finding different homes and maybe being more ruthless than i was the last time i looked through this so that's the goal i've been putting this off we're doing it this is an example of how bad everything's got see everything's just jam i can't even pull it out i've just got so much stuff stacked on top of these boxes so i need to i need to sort that out All right, I'm calling it, I'm done. I'm done for the video. Here is the bedroom. It's not finished by any means, but it is it is as good as it's gonna get right now. Until that mirror comes, that's gonna go there. I'm very excited for that to arrive, but that is literally gonna be 
weeks. So until that comes, I feel like the room is just gonna stay the same. I have cleared out under the bed. I didn't refill really much of it because it's not very exciting to watch me clearing out a bed, but I consolidated some boxes into other boxes. I keep a lot of old tech boxes and I know this is a very memeable thing to do. I know a lot of people take the piss out of it, but the reason I keep them is because if I ever choose to sell that item of tech, it adds to the value. And I've now been able to fit a lot of them all in one bigger box. So that makes me feel productive. But I think I am gonna wrap this vlog up here. Before I do, I would love some opinions in the comments about what color to paint this wall. So obviously this bedding is, is very much in keeping with the kind of vibe I'm going for here. And then we've got the colors over here. There's the rug, hang on, can you see that? There's the colors in the rug. So this is very much the color scheme. And then obviously at the moment it's this blue which i do like but it's quite cold and i would like to make it a bit warmer so i've been looking on lick's website and there's two different oranges that i have my eye on at the moment so i'm going to pop them up on screen now the one on the left is more of a peachy pinky toned orange and the one on the right is more brown based so what do you think would look better on this wall these are kind of burnt orange i, I don't know if they come across as well on camera but they're kind of burnt orange color um this is the only wall i would be painting so the rest of them would remain white but I do love the idea of it being an orange. I was initially gonna go with a dark green, but I think that the orange would be pretty cozy. The one on the right, I think, is the one I'm leaning towards at the moment, but I don't know if the brown tones are gonna to become too brown or if it's gonna be more orange. Obviously, the one on the left is a bit more pinky, and I don't know if that would be bringing another tone in, but then it would match down here. This color replicated would be great, and I think this is closer to the browner toned orange. So anyway let me know in the comments which one you think. Also let me know in the comments if you would like a vlog of that process because I really enjoyed doing a vlog of my office revamp last year when I did the video was like something like making my own library and I painted all the walls, got new bookshelves, I did the whole shebang. Let me know if you would like a vlog for painting walls in here. I will eventually be getting new furniture to replace these over here. That's not gonna happen immediately because I, I need to save to get them, but I would like to, I think I'm gonna go down the rattan, is rattan, 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 route and get a chest of drawers and a new bedside, a dressing table that will kind of just fit the earthy vibe and match this kind of atmosphere. I'm gonna, try i'm gonna get rid of one of the bedside tables i'm gonna try and upcycle the other one no idea what color again any suggestions are welcome but i just want it to feel like it's more personal and more cozy and less like just a dump of ikea furniture which is what it did feel like so obviously that is not all gonna happen at once i'd love it if it could but i think at the moment the paint is the next achievable thing i don't want to do it <laughs> like i hate painting the stress of it and moving everything out of the bed and everything is a lot but i think that that's more likely to happen sooner rather than later so let me know if you'd like a video for that anyway my arm is aching now from holding out the camera so i'm gonna wrap this up but thank you so much for coming on this weird uncluttering unhaul journey with me i don't really know what this has become it started out as an unhaul and an unclutter and then it ended up being like a half half revamp <laughs> revamp of my bedroom but i love watching these kind of videos so i hope you enjoyed watching it as well thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one.